Uh, thanks to Wellesley Community TV for being here today to share this event with us. We're here today again at the Wellesley Community Center with Stephen Beach. Uh, we are the hub division of the National Model Railroad Association. We are the co-sponsors of this event as well. It's our second year being here, and the turnout from the people around the community is outstanding. Well, I had a wonderful, I have a wonderful older brother who let me play with his Lionel trains and break them and fix them. And I was kind of a latecomer. I was almost two before I really got interested in trains. And uh, I've, I've loved trains all my life, real trains and toy trains. Uh, Lionel trains are toys. and. That's something that I found really special. It's a little different from a model train and that they're meant to be played with. I t it took a surprise from Santa when I was seven, um, which I think is true of many people. And like many people, I had, I still got one or two of those trains, but a lot of those went disappeared when I became a teenager and various other interests evolved. Um, and about 10 years later, um, I got back into railways. We go all the way from Cape Ann to P-Town, out to Springfield. We actually represent 400 members. We are the second largest division in the country. You can find us online at hubdiv.org. We, as a matter of fact, in December, sponsored one of the biggest shows on the East Coast uh, over at the Royal Plaza Trade Center in uh, Marlboro coming up April, I'm, I'm sorry, December 3rd and 4th. Yeah, my name's Richard Howell. Um, I'm one of the members of the European Train Enthusiast Club. And um, we meet all around the Northeast. We're based in the Northeast here. We have members who live as far south as, well, Florida now, but the active ones go down as far as Connecticut and pretty much up to the Canadian border and almost over to New York. So um, we're scattered over a big area. Hey, I'm Bob Popovac. I'm with Massachusetts Railroad Enthusiasts. Uh, my role as part of the show crew, we have a team of us about anywhere from 7 to 20 of us, depending on the size of the show, we do about uh, 10 to 12 shows a year. The shows that we do are usually uh, layouts and operational things like this, and sometimes actually at real railroads we display our stuff. Tyler, we're here from the Boston Metro High Railers. We're a three rail line out club in Wilmington, Massachusetts. And we're really enjoying the day. There are just piles of kids here and they're so happy. I mean, I just love the way they look and enjoy the trains. It's a real special day for us. We run a clinic at the Cambridge School in Weston uh, on the other side, just off of uh, 128. Hopefully we'd like to make a member out of you. Uh, when you become a member, you know, you, get, you start to get involved, you bring your trains, you operate them. Simple things that people are interested in today is, believe it or not, you can take your phone, phone and run your trains with your phone. And as you can tell from my accent, I have a, a European background, so I've been very interested in European railways, and particularly in Swiss railways, because I lived and worked in Switzerland for seven years. If one was interested in joining your organization, what are the steps that one would have to take to kind of get involved? It's very easy. Um, we have uh, a website, um, which is ete.org, I believe, or something like that. Um, so you can find us on the web. Um, we also go to a lot of shows, and we have uh, registration forms where you can join the club. Our club membership is actually a uh, non-profit 501c3 club. Our club also features usually between uh, four to six club trips a year on real railroads. They could be anywhere from the Vermont Rail System, the PNW, Providence of Worcester Railroad, to the Hobo Railroad or something up anywhere around and throughout New England and New York State. This is the second year. I couldn't make it to a previous obligation last year. Um, this, this has got some wow factor. We have these packets of information. It's a yellow bag. It has information about our call boy, our newsletter. It also has information in there about uh, club membership, brochures, and a small DVD that's 18 minutes long that explains and shows some of our club trips that we've done over the years. This show l last year, the group that was here but I was not, they actually did about 150 packets of information. We've done 270 today and it's, it's only been two hours into the show today. So this is blowing last year's show away from how many people are here. I don't have any signs that say do not touch. We let the kids run the trains and push the buttons and 
you know, some guys look and say, oh my God, they're going to break a collectible train. Well, they're toys, and I really love them that way.